So as a small business owner, entrepreneur, what's your management style? I'm curious to know. We're going to be talking this week about management style and how it applies to having remote staff coming right up. So welcome to the channel. If you haven't been to Virtual Done Well before, uh, this is where we talk about small business and entrepreneurial stuff, but particularly uh, small business office support, back office support, utilizing virtual assistants. So the question I have for you this week is what's your management style? And I think there's, there's probably two ends of the spectrum, isn't there? There's the really sort of detail focused, watching over your shoulder all the time. You know, I want to make sure my people are being effective. Um, and then there's the really laid back, you know, I'll let you get on with the job. Um, and it's very interesting to see over the last few months, this is being shot in October 2020, where so many business people have now been working at home for six months. I've, I've been, I'm here in my home office. My office is just a kilometer down the road, uh, but we've all been working from home for the last six months. It's interesting now that everybody's getting used to working remotely and they're finding it's very effective. Um, I mean, there's all sorts of debates going on at the moment about you know, post COVID, whenever that's gonna be, are, are people gonna you know, flood back to the offices? I think we're going to see a very different work style post-COVID. Um, there will be some businesses who want their staff to come back to the office either full-time or part-time uh, so that you can get that sort of collaborative approach going. Uh, you know, it can be quite important for some businesses. There'll be others, I know, quite big businesses who are saying, no, forget it, we'll get rid of the office, we don't need them. We're working very effectively from home. So that raises a really interesting uh, question in my mind because a lot of small business owners, entrepreneurs, utilize virtual assistants, remote staff, if you like, um, and have been doing so for years. And it's really interesting, now everybody's doing it. So um, if you, have you actually started using virtual assistants yourself? Do comment down below, I'd love to know, and how have you found it? Um, I've, I started on that journey about 10 years ago, and I thought I was you know, slow coming to the party. But what is really interesting is, I think, the management style that people have with virtual assistants. And, um, you know, even, even in our own business, there's very different styles. And maybe it's a cultural thing. I don't know. It's a very personal thing, isn't it? But how do you manage your virtual assistants? So some people will do it through systems. I know people who have, you know, um, screen capture systems where at any time during the day, they can see what's on their VA screen, their virtual assistant screen. Um, you know, they have clock in and out systems. Um, you know, they manage to the nth degree task lists on things like Airtable and all the rest of it. Um, you know, if that's you, that's fine. Um, and if you have a virtual assistant who works well with that kind of system, that's great. You know, wonderful. I'm very pleased for you. Um, I, I'm not like that. I'm, I'm not like that at all. And we have some really interesting debates in the business because I'm not saying one way is right and one way is wrong. I'm just saying be aware of what your management style is and make sure that you're working with virtual assistants who are comfortable with that style. Quite honestly, I think if you've got systems that record your VA's screen so that you can drop in any time of the day and see what they're doing, I think there's a bit of lack of trust there somewhere along the line. If I was, if I was the employee, uh, I wouldn't be staying long. Like, you know, do you not trust me to do anything? Um, no, I think you've got to have trust in a relationship. But look, um, there are some great systems there where you can manage tasks, you know, bit by bit and track progress and things. And that, that's wonderful. Um, in, in our own back office at Virtual Done Well, uh, we do have a system where people clock on and clock off. So we, we, we know they're there on time, know they're departing on time. Um, but personally, with my team, I don't micromanage. So <clears throat> how does that sort of system work? So... Some people would say I'm, I'm too much of a hands-off manager, um, but what I do is I have team huddles with my team. So I have seven virtual assistants, seven remote employees, um, and we'll get together probably once a week. We'll talk about priorities and what's coming up and who's working on things. Um, one of those remote staff is the team leader, and she looks after the rest of the team and makes sure that everybody's doing the right thing. It's very collaborative. They all help each other out. Um, so we're, we're, I'm chatting on a daily basis 
um, with that team leader, who's my executive assistant. I probably talk to her two, three, four times a day, uh, just you know, in day to day stuff. It's it's like she's sitting in the next office. You know, it's like that sort of relationship, which is great. Um, and then she's looking off to the rest of the team. I, I might catch up with other team members maybe once, you know, to check in on some video editing and, and stuff like that. But it's very hands off. And I trust my people to get the work done. And I measure the value of their work by their output, not by their sort of hours and monitoring every little task that they're working on. Um, so one of the things that I also do is I encourage people to s study online stuff. Um, so, you know, so look, if, you, if you've got an hour free during the day, check out this YouTube channel. There's some really great stuff there about online marketing or, um, you know, I've just um, bought a couple of online training programs for members of our team because they, they wanted to learn more about copywriting and creative writing. There you go. You know, spend an hour a day on that. Um, so I'm, I'm just sort of painting the picture that the, there's a couple of extremes. There's the minute manage, you know, by task, by hour, by minute almost. And then there is the more collaborative and I think honestly trusting relationship where together we decide what the priorities are and what we need to get done. And then I'll let them get on with it. And you know, the difference that I find um, is that our remote staff step up and take ownership and responsibility and come up with ideas um, much more effectively than if I was micromanaging. And in fact, I'll talk about that in the next video. And I, I might call it magical VA moments. So just have a think about that. If you have a virtual assistant now, what, what's your management style? Do you micromanage? And I don't mean that in a negative way. Maybe you need to. Are you pretty much hands off? How does that work for you? Um, and have you had any issues finding a virtual assistant who can work to your style? Love to hear from you. Love to uh, get your comments down below. Thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, do think about subscribing. Uh, the subscribe button's down there. And apparently, if you hit that bell, you'll get notified every time we have a new video coming out. And new videos come out every Tuesday evening, Sydney time. So hopefully, I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.